I need to tap about 30 of these holes in stainless steel. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, well, maybe it will. I'm doing a collaborative project where I need to make some parts out of stainless steel. And I also need to drill some holes that have to be tapped. I have never worked with stainless steel before, so I was concerned about tapping them, particularly because these are really small taps. These are 1.4 millimeter diameter taps, or that's the threaded hole size. The tapping hole size is 1.1 millimeters. So they're really tiny holes, and I was uh, deathly afraid of breaking taps, and with good cause. Because the first tap that I purchased, um, I broke two of them before making many holes at all. Fortunately, I had some uh, spare parts uh, that were parts that I could scrap without any issues, but then when I tried using one of the taps on a real part, I broke the tap. So let me show you what works that I discovered uh, after going with cheap tap and then buying a high quality expensive tap. So this is a part I can't show until November, which is why I have the blue tape on it. I need to tap some holes. I have two of them exposed here. These holes are drilled 1.1 millimeter in diameter and three millimeters deep. So I have this tap that I purchased from MSC. It's a 1.4 millimeter spiral flute tap. Now this is not the first tap. The first tap, performed miserably. And I'll show you a, a photograph of that right now. Uh, it, when I tried to tap this, it always felt like it was on the verge of breaking, and I think it really was. And because it was a straight flute tap, I had to reverse, and every time I reversed, I could feel that I was also on the verge of tapping. So on this particular part, there's one hole that has uh, the tap in it. But that's okay because this will be used in a display case and we can uh, basically glue a screw head in place of where one of the screws would have been and it'll be fine. So let me show you what's involved in tapping it and it's, it's not that bad. So first of all, I've got some aluminum tap here and so I'm going to make sure I have some tapping fluid on there. And then what I do is I put this down here carefully and I want to get it started. So I'm turning it a little bit to make sure I get it started. And then what I want to do is after it's started, I want to take a look and make sure it's straight in both directions, which it is. So now I'm going to switch to this approach here because it gives me better control. And I can feel really well with this uh, tapping handle. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm basically tapping as long as the feel is about the same. As soon as it starts to get a little stiffer, then I'm going to back the tap out and then blast out the hole with some air and then uh, put the tap back in and tap the last few threads or maybe the last thread, I'm not sure what. Okay, so I could feel that it was uh, bottoming out there. So I'll pull the tap out and then I'll just uh, blow it out with a little bit of air and then uh, blow this off with a little bit of air. It doesn't take much at all. And then some more aluminum tap make sure it's always well lubricated. And then this is a trick I learned watching a, a Joe Pie video, which is to put it on here and then rotate it in reverse until I feel it click. Right there. And then I can go back in knowing that I'm not going to start another thread. So this is going down very easily. Okay, now I can feel some pressure.
So I'll turn it a little bit more with about the same amount of force as before. I back it off a little bit. And there it's bottomed out again. Okay, so I've uh, successfully tapped a hole and have to look really hard to see if it's tapped or not. But that turned out really well and uh, this tool is working great, both the one that I made to hold the tap and uh, the tap itself. So one of the things that I did on the tap, if you look at the very end right there, is you'll notice it's flat. Uh, it came with a, uh, a tip that was sharper than this. And so what I did is I ground off that, that tip until just before it got to uh, the beginnings of the thread that I could see. And that's what allows me to tap closer to the bottom. The tap that I used was a $45 tap, whereas the two that I broke were $10. Uh, a huge price difference, but given that I scrapped about two or three hours of work, you know, that was a bad choice. So. When I was looking at taps, I had two options that I could find. One was spiral flute taps, or spiral point tap, I should say, and the other one was straight flute tap. The straight flute tap is the one where you have to go in and then back out to break the chips and go in again. A spiral point tap is really nice because you can keep turning it like a spiral flute tap, but unlike a spiral flute tap, it pushes the, the chips in instead of pulling them out. I would have liked to have a spiral flute tap, but I didn't find any available in that size. Um, I had to look in quite a few places before I found the one I did purchase, which I purchased from MSC. So at least not having to back out was nice, but that did mean that I need to, to do what I showed you, which is tap, you know, fill up the, the bottom with chips. You know, when I felt that, back out, clean the hole, and then tap the last uh, few threads. Now, one of the other advantages of a spiral point tap, from what I've been told, is that it's stronger than a spiral flute tap. The other thing that you may have noticed is that the, uh, the threads on this tap were a lot shorter and the, the section that was a narrow section was a lot shorter as well. So all of that makes it uh, stronger overall. So the moral of the story is uh, buy once, cry once, and what I did is the opposite of that, which is I bought twice and I cried multiple times as I broke tax, taps the first time. So I definitely need to remind myself next time, do not cheap out, buy good tools, especially when it's something small like this, and especially when uh, there's a lot of work that I put into it before I got to the point where I could tap the holes. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified when I have new content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.